Wow, it feels like I'm laying in pudding. Welcome back, lattes. Today Welcome we did back. something fun. Yes, I think fun more so. Just absolutely relaxing and like it Total made me like experience. melt. Yeah, very cool experience. We went over to iFloat Sensations in South Ogden, Utah today. We'll link it down below, check them out. But we got to experience Absolutely amazing. a float pod. I've done it before, not while so, pregnant though. Let's show them first yeah, and then we'll, we'll show talk them, about we'll it. talk about it. Okay. This is what we did. Check it out. So excited! Holly hasn't done this before. She's I'm ready to it. relax and get zen. Meditate. Yes. Zen out. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Cool. You guys are gonna meet Keith. Hello. Hi there. Hi, Keith. Looks like there's gonna be floating two of you today. Yeah, this little one too. Great. Three of you today. <laughs> Three floats. Oh, wonderful. I see you guys have already kicked off your shoes. That's yeah. fantastic. We're yep, ready. That We're ready to float. <laughs> starts the relaxation process. You're great. We have two of the very latest high tech float pods. They're about the size of a Mini Cooper, so they're huge. See, really no what? claustrophobic issues. Oh my gosh, I was so was nervous. Yeah. This morning I texted Jess, I was like, I'm a little bit claustrophobic, so I'm kind of scared. These things are big. That's they're crazy. Big. We can float somebody up to seven foot two inches um, tall. Keith has been floating since 1991. He's got a lot of floats under his belt. He knows all about this. He's a pro. Yep. Oh my gosh. And the first time I floated, actually, I, I um, begrudgingly dragged my wife in, <laughs> and she was eight months pregnant at the time. And uh, she was like, oh, I I'm don't want to do that. Months. And she floated and absolutely fell in love with it. So this is about six pounds of Epsom salt. And that's how much is it's in every in gallon, gallon of water. It doesn't even like, it makes sense to me how it's that like can even in. dissolve into it. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's dissolve. amazing. Yep. I tell people it doesn't matter if you're a boat, a canoe, or a battleship, you will float. You will float. It's so just even so with dense. this dense belly, yeah, I will that. float. Yeah. Yay. When you get in, it goes to work at actually detoxifying your lymphatic system. It gets rid of lactic acid, like the same thing that a massage therapist pushes from out. All your training. So yeah, if you have any tight knots or muscles or anything. Oh, Plenty. Do you? Yes. Well, if you um, feel your muscles quivering or twitching in there, that's actually, you'll know that the Epsom salt is doing its job. And they'll quiver, oh, twitch, so I'm not having and a seizure, I don't mean to panic. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying. Can you so, fall asleep in the pod? Yes, Do you most can. people fall asleep? Uh, most people do on their first couple of floats, they usually fall asleep. But the water Very is so nice. dense that you can't roll over. So in six years, what? we've never lost anybody. Oh, that's good. I was like, this seems unsafe. <laughs> like I mentioned, because it's pushing, it's getting rid of all that um, lactic acid, it's, get, it's detoxifying your lymphatic system, it's getting rid of inflammation and swelling throughout your body. So it's not pulling it out into the water, it's pushing it all into your kidneys. Mm -hmm. So we have this area here afterwards. It's so nice, I want this in my house. <laughs> where you can just sit and relax and have a cup of water or make yourself a Test nice hot tea. Oh, I'm sore. Right? My back is sore. <laughs> I need to float. Is this like sensory deprivation? Today, now we actually call it REST as an acronym and that stands for Restricted Environmental Stimulus Therapy. The water is actually heated up to skin temperature, which is 93.8 degrees, and that's what they call sensory neutral. So when you get in it and you're not moving, you actually can't feel the water. Wow. It's wild, what? you guys, so. it's wild. You don't know like where the air is and where the water begins. Oh my it's, gosh. It's and, a... and where your body is. So yeah. it gives you a great sensation that you're floating in the clouds or just yeah. floating in space. Uh -huh. Oh my so, gosh, I'm yep. so excited. You hear nothing, you see nothing, you smell, taste, feel nothing whatsoever. So it's just kind of you and your thoughts. And then we just get you to count your exhales the whole time you're in there. And what that does is it all slows down brain activity. Let's not delay anymore. Let's yeah, get let's you in. Like Come on. on in. We have some. some oh gosh, I almost just fell in. <laughs> oh, Austin's the first one. <laughs> Ooh, boy, that would have been a trip. I'm really excited to try this out while pregnant. I'm hoping it gives me a lot of relief from, from the pressures I've been feeling in my belly and back. Oh, it feels so good. It's nice and warm. Yay. Okay. Jessica, you're floating already. Oh, what floating. the? What in the world? Wow, this is like awesome. <laughs> what? I can't.
can't sink. I can't make myself go down. Can't do it. Seriously? Yeah, it's so weird. Well, your belly kind of looks like it's disappearing right now. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. Oh my gosh. It's, he's right. You cannot flip over in this thing. Oh my gosh. Hey. Oh, okay, floaties. I'm gonna try on my back first. Okay. See how that goes. Bye bye. Have a good spaceship ride. Later. I can't wait. I just feel like this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I feel like it's just gonna help me with like my anxiety and my pains in my body right now. Oh, it feels heavy. Like the water feels like jello almost. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. It feels like I'm laying in pudding. See you on the other side. Have a safe trip. Au revoir. Welcome back. That was wonderful. It was actually a really like emotional experience. The baby started kicking. And I was able to just like feel her and even hear the kicks. Because oh, wow. it would like radiate through my body and through the water and I could hear her kicking. It made me start crying because it was just like really special. I almost felt like I was in a womb and my baby was there with me in my womb. <laughs> I feel lighter and like floatier. <laughs> I feel taller a little bit, it's weird. Holly's done, I'm gonna sneak in there and see what she thought. Good morning, Sunshine. I didn't know you were in here yet. I feel good. That went by fast. Yeah, it like sped by. It was really slow at first, and then it sped by. Yeah. Um, I think I got to that like relaxed, sleepy state where you're like you're awake, but you're not. My body kept twitching. What? Like spazzing. Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> I think I need to do it more mm -hmm. to get good at it. Cause yeah. I had a really hard time relaxing my neck and like letting my head drop back. Okay. I'll let you get okay. showered and dressed. I'll meet you out there. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That was fantastic. <laughs> I have so much less tension in my shoulders. Do you? Yeah. Good. Ladies in peach tea today. <laughs> Not ladies in lattes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is what Holly is known for, is spilling and making a mess. Oh my gosh. Even after I float for an hour in outer space, I'm still a klutz. When I first got in, I, I sort of panicked because it was dark and I would open my eyes and it was dark and then I closed my eyes and it was dark. <laughs> trying to breathe and then I would panic and open my eyes and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die in here. Like, <laughs> it was scary the first like 10 minutes. I was a little, so a little freaked out. So if you're claustrophobic, you just have to kind of like work your way through mm -hmm. it. So we're talking about pains in your body. When all your senses are taken away, you like focus on that. Yep. Is that what it was saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. I felt that. I felt like on my right leg, a little like kind of shooting pain that was like quivering for a while and then it just went away. I felt that in my lower back. Yeah. Uh-huh, right in my lower back where I've been having some issues. I had no like pressure really? on my belly. Like it was, oh, it was phenomenal. Well, it kind of, and then, when I walked in there and you were laying on your back, it looked like your belly disappeared. Like there was no. It felt like it, it felt like it. It was really weird because I could like hear and feel the echoes of the kick. It was wow. bizarre. It made yes. me start crying. Aww. It like was an emotional experience. She was probably relaxed with you. Like, I know. I felt like, like, oh, I wonder if this is what she feels like. She's all like the in time. her own little Just galaxy, and dirty. then inside of your little big. That's how I felt. Your little big. My, uh -huh. my capsule womb. Yeah. Your, your yeah. womb. You're yeah. inside of a womb. That's what it felt like. It kind of <laughs> felt like being in a womb. Mm -hmm. I want to do it every day. I know, isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. He told us all about the packages that they have here. So oh, good. I'm gonna be back during this pregnancy for sure. And I did at one point when I was breathing, I saw like a white cloud that was like big and then when I exhaled, it got really small any, behind my eyelids. Any insight on that, Keith? So when you cut out all the stimulus to your brain, it looks for stimulus. 
Wow. And so one way that it can actually um, stimulate itself is it can actually stimulate the optic nerve. And I saw a face in the cloud at one oh. point. I saw a little face in it. But, oh boy. But I thought I was uh. just making stuff up but i've i've had people that have come out and float uh, from their float and had these remarkable experiences where they've actually talked with people on the other side what? they 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 you ever heard of astral travel where people have these remarkable out of body experiences they don't happen often but when they do they're really cool they're remarkable mm -hmm. so never know what your experience is going to be yeah. and they can even change from time to time when you float yourself too and you I had a three wait. hour float this morning, is that right? Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. three hours. What That's happens incredible. after three hours? <laughs> oh, I got gosh. out and I felt like I was gonna fall over. I was like, where's the world? Where's the ground? I'm gonna he tip. Just, he just floats right out. He doesn't even step foot on the ground. You're right, yeah, that's right. You just float right out of the pod. <laughs> you leave you ever read about body. a guy named Jesus? <laughs> he floated in pods for three hours on end? They said they put him in a tomb, but it was really he, just a float pod. Is that how he became such a nice guy? Hi, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, this whole day, it's been kind of gloomy outside, but I've been just so somber and mm -hmm. calm. Jess and I both are a anxiety. little bit anxiety, We're anxiety ridden. ridden. People. <laughs> let's be honest, let's just be real. I feel euphoric, I feel just totally calm. It's, yeah, as far as the anxiety goes, like, really low today. And I kind of feel a little bit dumb. <laughs> like <laughs> You've been kind of loopy I'm, ever since you got here. Jess is like, yeah, I feel more present today. And that's like spot on because I'm so present that I keep forgetting <laughs> that you can't remember anything else. what I'm doing before yeah. and after like yeah. whatever I'm doing. It's weird. Really, I've been very in the moment today, mm -hmm. which normally is very hard for me to do. I've just got so much on my mind at all times. Yeah. Thinking about what I have done, what I need to do. But today I've just been very in the moment and it's been so nice. You probably felt this just because you're pregnant, but I felt like the float allowed me to relax so much that everything kind of came back into alignment. You know what though, speaking of that, this is weird. So I sit at my computer a lot and as soon as I sit down, I'm like slouched. I sat down today and, and without even up? thinking, I was sitting straight up. Really? Yeah. That is weird. Which is very bizarre for me because normally I have to remind yeah. myself. I didn't even tell you about my hallucinations, did I? What? Do you have I, hallucinations? I hallucinated that my cats were in the pod with me. <laughs> you won! <laughs> yeah, I totally you did! Won. I thought that they were in there and it was so weird. I thought it was real. Oh, and that's I didn't hilarious. realize that I was having like little hallucination dreams, vivid dreams, whatever, until after we left and I was like, oh yeah, I was I like, thought about thinking my about my cats and I thought they were in there. From the pregnancy, I think my lower back is just having some issues, but it feels I wonder if loose. being in the pod is especially good for pregnant women because you're able to suspend like the weight of the baby for a minute and they're not pushing against like your organs and your rib cage. So. And this is a little bit personal, you guys. If you follow my vlog, I've talked all about it, so you kind of know. I've We're been all dealing, people. <laughs> I've been dealing with some issues with my digestive tract during this pregnancy. A lot of constipation and trapped gas. Which when makes was, sense if you're growing a human and they're pushing against your organs. Always pressing against my organs and stuff. But when I was in there, I was so relaxed. And I think the baby was just like floating too. Oh, this is embarrassing. Fart, 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 like, <laughs> it just, I was able to pass gas, and I was like, what the heck? That's so incredible. Oh Were you, gosh. like, so stoked when I that was, happened? I was like, what? Have you not been able to fart for, like, a long no, time? No, it's so <laughs> annoying. It's so frustrating. You're like, I just want to fart. I know. So I was able to do that, and I was like, wow, if this is the only so benefit I get, worth it. Yes. Yeah. I like, feel really good today. Man, like, that's so, so good. cool. On so many I'm levels. So glad you got to fart today. Oh, me too, man. <laughs> Talk about oh. an inconvenience. Right. <laughs> Go oh. check out I Float Sensations in South Ogden mm -hmm. in Utah if you are mm -hmm. in the area. Worth Highly every penny, seriously. And the owner Keith, who you guys saw in the video. He's just such a happy guy. The moment we walked in, he was all smiles and he like always vibrating, just always this like glowing aura. And exactly. I'm like, what? Why are you so happy? I floated for three hours yesterday. <laughs> like, He's yeah. been floating for floating 20 years plus years. 30 years, dear. 30. Uh, no, it's not 30. 
Oh almost. my gosh, I'm almost 30. Almost. We yeah. hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do go, or if you've ever been to a float center in your area, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. What did you experience? There's so Show many those different. Float centers yeah. Some love. Yeah, the float centers. Put they them, drop them below. They're they're great, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <gasps> Bye, lattes. Thanks.